Hi, my name is Pete Benson with Beacon Capital Management. We're so glad you joined us here today. We have a very, very important topic. Four ways that you can help protect your 401k and IRA right now in these very uncertain times. You see, there's a lot of things that feel out of control right now. It feels like the stock market is out of control. The health situation is out of control, but there are a lot of things that you do have control over concerning your wealth, and we want you to be well armed and make good decisions. See, this is not a time to bury your head in the sand and do nothing. This is a time for you to take action about your finances. So again, four ways that you could protect and help your 401k and IRA in these very uncertain times. So we want to get right into the subject. Number one, there's a new stimulus bill. It's called the CARES Act. You can go to irs.gov forward slash coronavirus and get information on it, but I'm going to hit the highlights for you anyway. Number one, RMDs, required minimum distributions, are suspended for 2020. So for this year, you don't have to pull that money out. You can pull some out if you need some for income and retirement right now, but you don't have to pull a certain amount out. There's people who sometimes only need $20,000, but they're forced to take $60,000 out. I had a lady that had to take $100,000 out last year and she didn't need any of it. And so it pushed her up into a higher tax bracket and she didn't want that. So I was able to deliver a call to her just recently and say, hey, you don't have to take any of that out this year if you don't want to. So make sure that you get that information and that you adhere to that if that impacts you. Secondly, penalty-free withdrawals. Now, it used to be that if you're 59 and a half and you tried to pull money out of your 401k or IRA, you got a 10% penalty on top of the taxes. But now that has been waived this year. So we don't recommend doing that unless it's a last resort. But if you are younger than 59 and a half, and you need to pull some out to get by a bad situation, they're not going to penalize you with that 10% penalty, but you do still owe the taxes on that money. Now, They've also allowed you then to pay the taxes back over a three year period. So you've got a long time to pay the taxes on that amount that you pulled out. So again, some benefits to help us out during this particular time that perhaps you didn't know about, but now you can take advantage of those. And then a retirement loan amount. See it here? Used to be that you could only take out a maximum of $50,000 out, even if you needed more. But now they've doubled that to $100,000. And that can be, you know, what saves your financial life if you're in a really tough situation. Now, again, these are not things that we recommend you doing unless nothing else is open to you or available as an option about your 401k or IRA or a way for you to get to money that you just need to get by and to exist right now. They've also given you up to a year before you actually have to pay that back to the 401k or IRA. So you could use the money, get by a bad situation, put it back in. So again, the new stimulus bill is going to provide opportunities for people. Number two, save on taxes. Who doesn't like to do that? There are some opportunities right now that exist in bad times. One of the silver linings of a declining stock market is that now the amount you had to pay taxes on out of your IRA or 401k is less. And so maybe this is a time to do a Roth conversion, a conversion of money to uh, over to a Roth where it grows tax-free. So before your money declined, you owed taxes on a higher amount. Now that it's lower, do the conversion now, and then when it recovers, you're recovering tax-free. So again, this is something to really look into, and we've done this with a lot of people. So take advantage of that if it makes sense, and the best way for you to find out if it does make sense is to get a tax reduction analysis. Maybe you've never even heard tell of that, but we do those for people through our firm, but there's other companies out there too, but just find a way that's best for you to get that tax reduction analysis and see if there's other ways to take advantage of a bad situation to help you with taxes in the future. 
Number three, you need a properly diversified portfolio. And it's at a time like this that all of a sudden you find out that you don't have one. You thought you did, but maybe you don't. And so do you know how diversified you are? Do you know really what that means in a declining market and how much risk you have? What your risk score is? Is it high, moderate, or low? And those numbers don't really, or those words don't mean anything unless there's a number that is beside it. And so do you know your risk? And if not, you need to get a risk analysis and really find out. And there's firms that do that, we do, but there's others who do as well. But find a way to find out exactly what your risk is. Now, five or 10 years goes by quickly when you're my age. And so what you may have thought was the right risk score for you a few years ago, now you're surprised that that was five, seven, 10 plus years ago, and now you're at a different stage of life. And this decline in the market has reminded you that maybe the amount of risk that you are taking is not the right amount for you now or in the future. Also, look at where you're drawing your money from. There are opportunities right now to take money for income from your savings or fixed assets or more conservative and let your declining growth money have time to recover. So there's strategies that you can implement and changes that you can make to help with the recovery. And this is a good time to look to rebalance your portfolio. Many people say when we, when we talk to them that it's been years since they've done that, but they got away with it because the market was on such an, such an upsurge. But now it's almost too late, but it's not too late really for them to kind of get an assessment of how much balance they've got. And going forward, this is a good reminder that these things can happen and they can happen quickly and suddenly. Nobody had all the warning they needed that a pandemic was gonna come and shut down our whole economy. And so every six months to get rebalanced in your portfolio is not too often. And so make sure you're doing that going forward. And then number four, lower your fees and expenses. You know, if your market money is going up 10, 15, 20% a year, if you're overpaying in fees, you don't really notice it. But when it's declining 10 or 20 or 30 or 40% and you're paying fees that are too high, they really stand out. And so I tell people all the time, fees really show themselves where there's absence of value. And so don't let fees rob you of unnecessary money. We call it leaks in your money bucket. You're putting money in, the, the money is supposed to grow, but there's leaks that is leaking that out. So ask yourself the question and answer honestly, do I really know what my overall fees are for my advisor, the internal fund fees, the trade fees, the custodian fees, the administration fees, and all the others that can add up. And what if you're paying 1% more than you should? You have a $500,000 portfolio, that's $5,000 in a year. In 10 years, that's $50,000. So this is a great time to limit the drawdown of your investments by lowering the fees. So you need to know your fees. And the way you find out what your fees are is you get a fee analysis. And there are people who do that. There's firms out there. We do that, but others do as well that will really do a deep dive into your overall fee structure. And maybe you can capture some of your loss by paying less in fees for maybe even more value going forward. It's those unnecessary and unknown fees that really add up that make a difference year after year after year. So again, there are ways that you can protect your 401k, enhance it, and take advantage of even bad times like now. There are opportunities. So four ways that you could protect your IRA or 401k. I hope this has been helpful for you. And remember, just hearing the information is not enough. I tell people all the time, information is good, implementation is great. So make sure that if there's things that you need to do, you do them. And especially right now in this time of uncertainty, stay well, stay healthy, and make sure you stay wealthy. Thank you for joining us.